Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to take a look at wafer locks. Uh, you'll usually find these in like desk drawers or little cheap cabinets, sometimes even those uh, lock boxes, those little uh, cash boxes that uh, you'll find at office supply stores. Uh, because these things are really cheap um, and very, very simple. So, but uh, the, the important thing to keep in mind when you're dealing with them is that these are not uh, the same mechanism as a uh, pin tumbler lock. Even though their uh, keys might look very similar to uh, the ones that you'll normally see with a standard pin tumbler lock. Sorry, I think those are the wrong keys. Yep, there we go. Now, uh, even though the key looks the same, the internal mechanism is a bit different. Uh, a wafer lock is made up of a series of small metal plates or wafers that are lined up uh, one by one, uh, one behind the other, rather, uh, with slots of differing uh, heights cut into them. And what happens is when you insert the key, those different uh, cuts in the plates cause all of the plates to line up uh, and allow, and that's uh, what allows them to actually turn the lock. Now, uh, this is a cheap one that I've kind of damaged a bit from the practice I've done, so I can actually disassemble it for you. It's very simple. It's just this little uh, retaining screw on the back you take off. Take the uh, cam. That's the bit that'll actually help it stay locked, or uh, that actually locks the drawer shut. Uh, this is a rotation limiter. If you can see, there's this little tab on the back of the lock, and that goes in this section that's cut out, and it stops the lock from rotating more than 90 degrees. Uh, and then this screw on the outside is what holds the lock into the desk drawer, or your mailbox, or any number of other places. And with that, this just slides right out. So there you can see the uh, metal plates, five of them in this case. Uh, these little sort of round spaces contain the springs that push them out. And when they're, this is what the core looks like when it's at rest. And if you look inside the shell, you'll notice it has these four large grooves machined into it. And those tabs on the wafers fit in there and stop the lock from turning too much. I mean, these these are very cheap, so they probably turn rather more than a well-made one works. But, uh, so that's, that's the mechanism that we're dealing with here. And when you're uh, trying to pick it, I find one of the most useful tools for these is the double ball or snowman pick. Uh, and you can just stick that in there and you can see it's going to just wiggle them around. So let's take a look at one that actually works. Here's a functioning one. Same, uh, don't let the body size fool you, they're the same uh, lock, just this one is uh, for a thicker drawer, so the uh, tail on the core is rather longer. But that's really the only difference. Uh, so, we're going to stick that in our vise and lock it up, making sure that the uh, tailpiece is still able to rotate. And hopefully you can see that. And uh, we're going to use what's called a, uh, a wishbone tension tool or a double prong tension tool. You see it has these two prongs and those fit in there like that. And uh, I find it very useful for these. Oh, some people don't like them. Uh, these do have a tendency to just sort of pop out if you're not careful. But uh, for these sorts of locks, they're very useful. At least in my experience. And that's really all there is to it. Take your uh, snowman tool, push it in, and assuming you don't lose tension entirely, there we go. You're just going to pop it up and down a couple times, and it's going to open right up for you. 
So that's it. These are dead simple. Uh, you can use other tools. You can rake them. You can do all sorts of things. Uh, you can use lots of other tools with them, but I find that this really works wonders on most of these single-sided uh, wafers. Now, why do I specify single-sided wafers? Well, because there are other types. Here's, uh, these are cabinet locks, uh, like you'll, you'll find in like your kitchen cabinets if they have a lock on them. Or, again, some uh, desk sets and that sort of thing. A lot of office furniture has these. Now, again, it's a very simple uh, mechanism. You turn the key, and that pushes that latch or uh, bolt out. And that uh, either fits into a slot or just hides behind uh, or, or just sticks up behind a piece of wood or metal that uh, the door has to move past. But uh, take a look at this key here. You'll notice it has bidding on both sides, and that's because if I can get the light here, which I can't seem to, there are actually opposing sets of wafers. There are wafers with springs on this side and wafers with springs on this side, and you have to push them both into alignment before it'll turn. So it does complicate it a little bit, but there is a very useful set of tools uh, made specifically for uh, these sorts of locks. You can use them in other wafer locks, uh, but they don't always fit. And that is uh, this. You'll see them sometimes listed as uh, either wafer picks or wafer jigglers. Uh, and for these types of locks, they are pretty useful. Basically what you do is you take uh, any one of them and you just wiggle it in. Just wiggle it around until it turns. And again, these are very, very cheap uh, locks. I picked up at a hardware store, so they'll probably open to most of these. Yeah, there's another one. And uh, But I have used these on uh, much more expensive and much fancier uh, locks of this same type. Uh, and they are very useful if you find yourself dealing with, say, a uh, steel case or, um, what's the other one? There's lots of, lots of the uh, big uh, office furniture manufacturers will use locks that will open very easily with these, even the very high-end ones. So, uh, hopefully, that's given you some idea about how to attack wafer locks. And, uh, you know, just try them out. Don't be intimidated by the fact that the mechanism is different. These are generally even simpler than all but the absolute cheapest uh, and lowest quality pin tumbler locks. So, uh, happy picking. And uh, you, you'll see why I, I did this uh, before my next video.